Hi everyone, today I will be sharing the seven worst parts of The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. No book is perfect, as I've said before, so today I am sharing the things I don't like about this fantasy classic. Of course there are going to be spoilers because I can't really share the things I don't like without them, so if you don't want to be spoiled for this book or the movie, you should stop watching this video because I'm going to be spoiling some things. Also, as a disclaimer, these are my opinions. You don't have to agree with me. Number seven, Frodo sells Bag End. I was really sad when Frodo sold Bag End to the Sackville Bagginses. Bilbo left it to him so that it wouldn't go to the Sackville Bagginses, and then it ended up with them anyway. So that made me really sad. It's not really a flaw with the story, it's just something that made me sad, and I don't like that he sells his childhood home to the Sackville Bagginses, of all people. It just doesn't sit well with me. It makes me very sad. So that's, that's number seven. Number six, there is no character diversity. We don't see hardly any female characters in the story and they don't really play a significant role. I would like to see a badass female or more than one badass female as part of the fellowship instead of it being all male. Again, this book is dated so I can see why it is all male. But I wish there were more female characters or people of color or other minority groups included in this book. Again, I, I realize it's from the time period, but it's still something I don't like about this book. And stemming off of that is number five. We really don't get to see Arwen in this book. I saw the movie before I read the books and I was really surprised at how little Arwen is in the book, especially being Aragorn's love interest, I expected her to be there a little bit more, especially when they're in Rivendell and she's not, so I was really sad that Arwen has less page time than I expected her to have, and really she's just mentioned that she's not really in scene at all, so that was a bummer. Number four, this is something else that the movie does better than the book and that has to do with the reforging of Narsil. The book really just skims over it, and I feel like Narsil is such an important part of Aragorn's character arc that it really should get more attention than it did get, and I like that the movie gives it more attention than the book did. Number three, the scenes with Tom Bombadil and the forest around the Shire seem really unnecessary. When I read The Lord of the Rings, it's because I am interested in the ring getting to Mordor so it can be destroyed, and also Aragorn returning as the King of Gondor. But that doesn't have anything to do with Tom Bombadil and the events in the forest. They seem really unrelated, and therefore I'm not invested in them so I don't really want to read them. I find them boring because they're not part of the main plot in my opinion, and they really bog down the beginning of the story. Number two is something else that really bogs down the beginning, and that's too much time passing in between Bilbo's birthday party and when Frodo actually leaves the Shire. If it were like six months, that would be doable, but it's decades. There are decades that pass in between these two events, and I really don't care what happens in between these two events. So the time passing seems like a lot, and it really slows down and bogs down the story. Number one is something else that bogs down the story, and that is too many travel descriptions. They obviously do a lot of traveling as they make their way to Mordor with the ring, and I don't like all the descriptions that we're getting of this travel. I care about them getting from point A to point B, and if something exciting happens along the way, great, tell me about it, but I don't really care about all the little tiny details about the places they're traveling through. I'm not interested in that, and that bogs down the story for me. So those are the seven things I don't like about the Fellowship of the Ring. They don't ruin the story for me, 
but they do make it harder and less enjoyable to read, especially the beginning. The beginning is so slow and hard to get through, and it's because of those things that I mentioned just a moment ago. And that's really, that's it. There's not a whole lot that I don't like about this book overall. I think it's a good book and an enjoyable read, but the beginning is just really, really hard to get through. What do you think? Do you agree with these points? Do you disagree with them? Did I leave something out? Let me know in the comments below. Next time I will be doing a review of the Fellowship of the Ring movie and that will be coming out on Tuesday. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and ring that bell for notifications. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.